Hi guys and welcome to a new video, hope you're all doing well. I know it's been quite a long time since I have uploaded anything to my channel or even really done anything on social media. I just basically took a step back. I was finding it really hard to find the time to like do decent content. I tried like filming something and it was all out of focus, tried something else and I just wasn't having a good time with it. I was really busy with work and a lot of stuff going on at the moment so I was like let's just take, take a little break from social media and all of this and I feel a lot better for it if I'm honest. I currently am off work for a week and thought I would try and get a load of videos filmed. I've got quite a few videos I want to get filmed this week and I'm hopefully going to have a couple of videos going up this week as a sort of make up for the fact I didn't film for so long. Um, but yeah, so firstly I will address the fact that I have cut my hair off. That was meant to be a video. Uh, I did do this myself. My mum just tidied it up for me though the other day because it was a little bit choppy at the back. But I just had a moment, I was like, I want to go short hair again. I did this like two years ago and I loved having short hair. But then I obviously missed the long hair again. So I've done it again. Just because it kind of makes it feel a lot healthier. Um, I think short hair suits me. I don't know. And um, it's a lot less hassle to style and stuff. So yeah, that's that. So as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, this is a festive homeware haul. This is my first Christmas in my own place, like completely on my own. This is the first time I'm getting to decorate and like basically start from scratch. I do have like a, a container of some things that I've had like for my bedroom, like back when I live with my parents and some other bits. But this is my first time buying a tree and buying like home decorations. Like it's actually mad and anyone that knows me knows I love Christmas. I've not stopped banging on about this. I have been excited for this since summer like and it is now time for me to be able to put up my Christmas decorations and I know some people freak out at me that I'm putting them up in no like so early in November but I don't care this is the first time I'm doing this in my own place and I've got a week off work so I can have the lovely time to do this properly but yeah so basically over the last few months since everywhere started getting Christmas stuff in I have been buying everything I haven't been going extensive like I can't afford to just like buy everything I ever want but I have been buying quite a bit, buying the stuff that I definitely want. I've very much thought in my head what bits like I really want in my flat. Like obviously I want a nice tree and I want like a very white and like grey theme to go with like my neutral monochrome like lounge. Um, I want like a little garland along my TV stand and like little bits like that. So yeah, I have actually got quite a bit. <laughs> um, I'd, I probably will still be buying stuff uh, as it gets closer to towards Christmas and stores get more stock in because at the moment it's obviously been a little bit weird because last year Christmas wasn't really a thing like and no one was allowed to go out and go shopping and like half the places were closed so it was just a bit of a nightmare last year I'm, and I think this year they're just really struggling with supplies they're struggling with just everything so it's all a bit slow and I work in a retail shop, like I work in Wilco and we sell loads of Christmas stuff and we're struggling to get everything in and some of the stuff we have in isn't that great. There's a lot, if you've watched my B&M um, like come shopping with me video and seen what they had for Christmas, you'll see that there is a lot of like pink this year, like everywhere I've been it's got pink. There's obviously white and silver as usual and then like traditional stuff but for me I just want everything neutral, I want whites, I don't want too much silver, I mainly just want the white, um, maybe like some greys and blacks and just very neutral colours, like I said I want monochrome, that's what my thing is in my lounge. Um, but yeah so I've also been trying to do it quite like budgeted, I'm not going to be spending loads of money on things, oh god did I tell you the nightmare trying to get white baubles that are actually nice, I, it's been a challenge so so let's get the first thing out of the way. The biggest and most important thing for Christmas is a Christmas tree. I did not know how hard it was going to be to find a Christmas tree that didn't cost so much money. I am obviously very picky. My mum will completely agree with me. I really found it like find it. I found it hard to find a tree that I liked because I wanted one that was like six foot because I can't have a massive one because I've got um, obviously sloped ceilings and that's only a small flat, so I don't want it to take up loads of room. But I didn't want just like a plain like green tree. I didn't then want like a coloured tree or anything. I wanted, didn't want anything that looked like really fake. I fell in love with a tree at work that was grey and it was beautiful. But I couldn't, the, it was like I think 70 quid or something with for the tree. And I was like I can't spend that money on a tree even with discount. I was like I don't have the money for that. Um, For it to just sit like to be up for a couple of months and then go back down so 
because it's been looking around getting an idea and my my mum actually found one on Facebook Marketplace, brand new, um, and I managed to get it for £20. Brand new tree. So what I think's happened is there's some some people from last year brought a lot of like a bulk amount um in the sale when like everything was like eighty percent off, especially from Tesco's which is where this one's from, and then they've sold them on this year for like double the money. It's sensible, like that's a good idea. Um if you have somewhere to store Christmas trees for all year. But yeah, so I've got a six foot snowy Colorado tree for twenty pounds, brand new. Um and I'll try and show you somehow. A bit hard to show you, but it is like this. So it's green, but it has the like snow tips on it, which I like. So I was gonna try and avoid one that had the snow on it because I know the snow comes off. But for twenty pounds, like it's a nice tree. And it's six foot. You can kind of see the branch like I just think it's gonna look quite cute. Ah! Now I don't know what to do with it. But yeah, so that is the tree. <laughs> I was just going to get the white stuff everywhere. But it's quite a simple tree, really. It's just a green tree with white on it. Um, and I think it'll look really nice with the white decorations and stuff. And like I said, six foot's perfect height, I think, for me. My only issue is with my flat is where I'm going to put my tree because I don't think it's going to look stupid above the slanted ceiling. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reverse my whole lounge, which I don't really want to do. So we'll see that when it comes to my decorating video, how I get on. Right, so next, we'll talk about my main baubles. Now, like I said, finding baubles was so hard for me this year. And like I said, I am very fussy. So I struggled finding white baubles. Like, it was ridiculous. I wanted white, just white baubles, or like iridescent baubles, or something just like plain. I didn't really want silver. Um, I don't want colours. Like, and you would have thought that would have been quite an easy thing to do. But nowhere sells white on their own, like, at all. And all the sets are either just, like, a couple of white with loads of silver or, like, horrible patterns. Like the ones I saw on B&M that I would have showed you in the previous video. Didn't, like, carve the patterns on them. And it's the fact that you've obviously got to buy quite a few um, or have, like, a big set to be able to, uh, obviously, cover your tree. Otherwise, it's pointless. And even when I was trying to look online, everywhere was, like, out of stock. Like, the ones on the range were all out of stock. Um, it's just been a bit of a... So some other baubles that I brought were these ones and this is what I was on about with the frosted glass. So if that focuses, you can see it's like half frosted with some like glittery pattern. Like, I don't know what you would kind of describe that as. So I got three of these, but they're not shatterproof, are they? So one smashed in the bag. You just heard this little smash and it was fine. Like me and mum were like, right, well, you just have to put it on the, like, try and hide it on the tree until I went to get it out of the boot. And it was smashed into smithereens. And like, even though I'd wrapped it in like another bag and stuff. All I'm saying is be very, very careful when you're buying individual baubles like this. So these are from the range. They were £1.49 each. So, and obviously I did buy one and break it. Because I wanted three because I thought that would be perfect, like, symmetry to have one, like, three dotted. But it is what it is. Just put them down carefully. But they're lovely. And some other baubles I got, I got these from um, Wilco. They're just like these little feathers. They were, I think, a pound. These are, Wilco stuff isn't priced, but I'm pretty sure these were a pound each. And um, yeah, I've got three. And these are plastic, so they're not gonna smash. They're just cheap plastic things with feathers in. But I thought they were just like a nice little touch. I've seen a lot of shops do ones with, fe with feathers in. But obviously it makes sense for me to get stuff from Wilco when I work there, and I get this now. Some other little bits from my tree. I've got these from the range as well. These were one pound 19 each, which is really cheap for Two, so I've got two packets just because I think these are better at the obviously as you get higher up and you want smaller things. They're quite um quite weighty though. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the tree. I do still want to get some pine like I wanted pine cones um for the tree, but trying to find some that are not tiny or actually have wire on it seems to be it's really difficult. Like normally everywhere has stuff and like I said it is still quite early, so I know a lot of places are still getting their Christmas stuff in. But I'm hoping I'll find some pine cones to add onto the tree um, because I did have by these. So I've got this bag from Hobbycraft and it is a mixture of like pine cones and some other like leaves and some like slices and like gold acorn things. I just thought they were really nice to put like maybe in a bowl or to like scatter in places like to do something different with and also then I can I can use them and like obviously 
um, glue them on things if I need to as well because um, I'm probably going to use them for the garland which talk of the garland I actually only picked this up today I've been actually really struggling finding a cheap garland all I want is just I want to have something across my tv cabinet um, with some lights and some pine cones and like you know just make it look pretty like you would on a mantelpiece and trying to find a garland has been a nightmare the ones we do at work are way too long like everywhere like does really long ones or really like thick ones so I'm like well I'm gonna not use half of that for a blimmin tv cabinet am I but I actually saw this in Asda so Asda have only just put their Christmas stuff out and they have this and it was six pound and it's pre-lit which can't see the lights personally but yeah and it's pre-lit so it's actually it's a light up garland you can see on the front like how they've done it I was like that is literally all I want it's just a really basic garland I wasn't fast if it was pre-lit because I'd have just added lights in myself but now I don't have to um so yeah I'm very happy with that so I'm thinking I might put off some of the pine cones on this as well and create it make it look pretty and I can also buy some snow spray um to make it like obviously to make it look a bit fancier um I think that is the plan some other things I got from Wilco I got this tree skirt I'm a bit funny about tree skirts I there's some really horrible ones around I would love to have a wicker one um but I have nowhere to store it and I can't expect to just use like my whole of my mum's loft up with Christmas stuff for the rest of the year so I was like if I just get a small one that you can fold up have had a good look around and I just picked this one up obviously from Wilco it is really soft velcro um really like just soft fluffy it's got like this triangle print in it um geometric sort of print it's just very simple I just think it'll look nice just to cover the bottom of the tree up also something else I've picked up from Wilco is this, looks a bit of like of nothing, but it's sort of like um, eucalyptus, eucalyptus and some like other foliage sort of pieces and it's all on wire so I'm just going to put it in a vase or something and sort of spread it out. I might buy some other bits to go with it. My only issue is the, it all falls off, but I just thought it was a nice little touch, it was only I think £1.50. Nice little touch to make it a bit more festive in here. Um, something I got from Primark, which I actually also got today, I got this um, diffuser. I have actually found it really difficult to find any Christmas candles and diffusers this year. I have been in Home Sense so many times and they haven't actually got any Christmas candles yet. I know like a lot of places are waiting to get rid of um, Halloween, but still, I need Christmas candles. So I'm sure there'll probably be like another, like, there's got to be another Christmas haul at some point and like an update because I've got to buy more stuff <laughs> but yeah so I bought this it is woodland forest pine and winter woods and I tried to look at it but there you go it's just a very simple um diffuser <laughs> nothing special but I'm hoping it smells nice and just makes it a bit more festively scented in the, the room that was £2.50 for that so it's quite cheap for a diffuser Another thing I got in Primark was this little wooden let it snow. I just thought it was quite cute. And obviously it's a hanging like decoration. Um, but I'm going to cut the ribbon off and then just have it stood up against something I think. But it's only £1.50 as well. And they had a lot of like traditional basic like Christmas bits. But that was all I picked up. I'll show you some other little bits that I picked up. So I've got this little tree. It was £1 from Asda. And I like things like this because obviously I've got a lot of shelving and storage that I want to have little Christmas bits all over that. So a pound for a little bottle tree. Um, I've got a little little gnome. I really just liked this guy and he was only one pound something from the range. I think he was one pound thirty nine. It's just tiny little cute and again perfect for the shelf. And I've got a little black reindeer from Matalan. This was six pound and they also had a bigger one. And I like the idea of having the big one and little one together, but I was like, it's not necessary. Um, I think this will, again, look lovely on my shelf with the black. Obviously goes well with my lounge. I've got this candle, which I don't know if you can see is actually broken. So I did get it discounted, because if you don't ask, you don't get it. It was the last one. I've actually been after a candle like this the whole time I've been Christmas shopping. I'm trying to find like a tree-shaped candle that doesn't cost £20. Very difficult. So this was in the range. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but I got 10% off it anyway. And I'm thinking I can obviously melt that to join back in, so it should be fine. But it's, I'm not going to actually like this. It's just the decoration, so. A couple 
couple of other bits I've got for decoration. I have got this light up um, little like thing. Again, this is meant to be a hangy thing. I probably won't hang it up. I probably will just stand it. Like I'm sure um, it will be able to stand like that. I've got loads of places to put stuff. I've obviously got my shelf up there. I've got my shelf and unit. I've got my TV cabinet plus the rest of my flat like <laughs> so i'm sure and i've done the same with this i got this from b m as well this was one pound fifty uh, just a little stag but again i'm going to take off the the rope for hanging and stand this up somewhere just little touches you know for the tree i've also got my lights i bought these from b m these are 200 warm white lights i wanted warm ones because i find white lights on a christmas tree is just too bright too much like it's not you want cozy vibes you don't want to be like having bright up tree like a tree's not there to light up the room so i like white ones i don't want colored so i don't like the idea of colored lights it's nice cozy warm whites this 10 pound which is the cheapest i've seen anywhere i've also from the range got this lovely sign i actually was a little bit inspired by ellie darby with her autumn um house tour she had like one of these type of things before I think it was like their pumps, like I said, like pumpkin patch one. And I was like, that's actually really like, and I saw this, I was like, it's a lovely idea because you put it on a set, like, say if I put it on a shelf or something, and you put some things in front of it, like I'll probably put some pine cones around it or something, and it just, it's just nice. And again, black and white, perfect. Some other little bits that I've got that are technically not for home are just some cake decorations. I can't remember if these were in Home Bargains or B&M, but yeah, I've just got some... They're just really cute little decorations so just for making some cupcakes, like I might make some for work or um, and take some in like I did for Halloween. Which everyone ate, so that's good. And I also got from the range this light up star. I think this was four pounds or like three ninety nine or four uh, around that. Yeah, it's just a battery operated light that I want to put in my window in my bedroom, as that's the only like flat window I have. So I wanna have obviously some sort of form of light. I do have a lot of fairy lights still from like the years before but that's not the point you can never have enough fairy lights um one of my favorite things that i've got that you would have seen is this so i featured i did pick this up and talk about this in the b&m video um but i didn't buy it so i went back and got it <laughs> and i love it i am actually in love with it i think it's beautiful so pretty so like just so me see look look how lovely that's gonna look it's just the weight to the fact that I have to put it on my front door and my neighbours are going to be like, she's got her Christmas decorations up already. I've also got my advent calendar brought by my mum. <laughs> right, anyway, I think that is, that is everything for today. Um, if I'm honest, there's going to be a, like a part two of this video at some point. There'll be like a update new like Christmas haul, like another Christmas haul because I still have stuff to buy. Obviously, there's still like a lot of Christmas stuff to go in the shops. It's only just November now. So there's a lot of stuff that will be coming in in like the supermarkets, especially in like home sense and stuff. Like um, even at my place, like my workplace, we haven't got our full Christmas range yet. So there will definitely be a second video. Uh, it might just be a little bit weird because I'm doing this. Then I'm doing my like decorating and like doing that as a video. And then there'll be another haul. So it might seem a bit weird, but we're going with it. Um, I'm also waiting for my Shein order. I was hoping it was going to be here for this video. I've just ordered some some Christmas bits from there because it's cheap. And I know not everyone agrees with Shein, but because it's very fast fashion like type of things. But I have only buy home decor bits. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a lovely thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I really want to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Just because that would really just make my day. Um, make my year. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone that has subscribed so far and thank you to those of you that support me and watch my videos and talk to me about my videos I know there's so many people like that I'm friends with or that are like I work with and stuff that watch my videos and even if some of them do it just to take the mick out of me sometimes you still get more views and you're still subscribed so please subscribe um, and please continue to watch my videos like I said a new video every week to this week Christmas is coming um, but yeah, thank you and goodbye.